Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing the secret diary of a YouTuber tag. I was tagged by Rose Mannering. Just before I start, I just want to say if you have tagged me in a tag video and you haven't seen me do it yet, can you like leave a comment or a link down below because I definitely have lost like all of the tag videos that I've been tagged in. I had a way I was saving them. Now I don't know what I'm doing with all of them. I think I'm just getting really unorganized. But anyways, leave a link or a comment down below. That'd be great. Thanks. Question 1. How long have you been on YouTube? I started making videos in May of 2012, so I guess it's been about two and a half years? 2. At what point do you think you will stop? Uh, when it stops being fun? 3. The best thing? The best thing about doing YouTube is meeting other people who do YouTube. I kind of love everyone in the booktube community that I've sort of become friends with, and it's basically like those friends and those connections that make doing this so much fun. Four. Worst thing? I don't know. I mean, I feel like the obvious answer to this is like getting like weird, hateful, gross comments, but that like seriously rarely happens to me. I'm very, very lucky in the fact that I don't really get that many bad comments and even like my worst comments are usually still pretty nice like people might be critical of things that I say or do but they're usually not jerks about it like 90% of the time so I feel like that's it but at the same time that so rarely happens that it doesn't even feel like any big deal for me personally. 5. How many thumbnail options do you usually take? I am super lazy and I hate taking thumbnail pictures so usually what I do is I screenshot uh, my videos and then I just take my least derpy face and then I edit that into a thumbnail picture. 6. Who is your YouTuber crush? Um, I'm going to go with Ron Litt and Jason from The Heavy Blanks because they are probably the most beautiful people on YouTube. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with that. Seven, who's on your collab wish list? So the thing about booktube is that there aren't a lot of collabs that happen. I feel like the only time people collab is when uh, they get to meet each other in person. So basically this is going to be my people I want to meet in person <laughs> wish list. I don't really care whether or not we make videos together. But Susie from Read Susie Read, Jenny from Adultish Books, Dee Dee from Frenchie D, Steve from Steve Reads Books, Danielle from One Small Paw, who else? I've met Sushila, Christy from One Book More, of course, um, Gina, an awkward reader. I mean, basically just all of my booktuber friends. I just want to meet them in person. <laughs> let's, let's be real. Eight, what are you wearing on your bottom half? So I know like the protocol with YouTubing is that you usually wear pajamas on your bottom half and sometimes I am wearing pajamas but honestly like most of the time when I have time to record I'm usually recording things like as I'm leaving to go somewhere or right after I come back from somewhere so that way I'm already like fully dressed with a reason so I'm usually wearing like a full outfit so like right now I'm wearing like a top and jeans. I'm not gonna lift my leg like most people do but I really am wearing jeans on the bottom right now and it's because I just came home from being out in the world so it's sort of just like convenient for me like I never really record like on the weekends when I'm just like sitting around because that doesn't really happen for me very often like I usually have a lot of stuff going on. Nine, how long until you actually click record? Yeah, again, it's hard for me to like estimate this because I don't really like get ready before a video. The most I do is like I set up my chair over here because my chair doesn't normally sit here, it's usually at my desk. And so I'll like move my chair into position and then I like fo go and focus my camera. And then I do like a test shot of me just sitting in the chair for like, you know, 10, 15 seconds just to make sure I'm in focus and then I'll check it and then I'll go and do my recording. 10, how do you feel about the YouTube community slash culture? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that should just be it. It is what it is. It's very much like the culture of the world. I don't know. I'm not really a part of it. I feel like I could comment more about booktube culture. Maybe booktube culture is like a reflection of the way YouTube culture is, but you know, it's just like everywhere else in the world where there's some people who are really popular and there's some people who aren't and you find your communities and your friends who have the similar interests as you do. I feel like really it's just like the real world and I don't understand why people always get so confused by that. 11. What's your secret to a successful channel? <laughs> I'm like laughing while reading that because I don't know. Is my channel considered successful? I mean, some people say it is, and I definitely don't think that I have an unsuccessful channel, but I feel like 
success is a very vague term and you have to create your own definition of it. Like for me, I feel like I've been successful since the beginning just because I've always had really cool and interesting people who watch my channel and who leave cool and interesting comments. Like that's my level of success or like my standard. Like I don't really use subscriber counts or view counts as a way to measure success because I don't think they're really that valuable to me. But like in the end what gives me the most joy about having this YouTube channel is the conversations that we have. I think I consider myself successful because I have really great comment sections and I don't really have to worry about a lot of hate like I mentioned earlier so I don't know what's the secret to a successful channel. Just cultivate the kind of audience or set a standard in your videos for the type of audience that you want to have. I mean because I feel like because I have discussions and I try not to be disrespectful of other people's opinions and I try not to be mean. Like I'm never a jerk on my channel or at least I try not to be a jerk. Like I give honest opinions but I always can see the other side of things and I feel like that creates an environment where people feel comfortable having conversations and they do it in a very respectful way. Or maybe I'm just really boring and all the haters don't want to hang out at my channel so maybe that's the key to success. I don't really know what I did to deserve this so I can't really comment but I definitely appreciate it. Number 12, who do you tag? I honestly have no idea who's done this tag so I'm just gonna go with my standards. Jenny from Adultish Books, Ashley from Climb the Stack, Danielle from One Small Paw, and Steve from Steve Reads Books. That's good enough. Or anyone else, if you want to do the tag, you're tagged as per usual with my tag videos. So yeah, that is the secret life of a YouTuber? No, Secret Diary of a YouTuber. Like I said, if you want to do the tag, feel free to consider yourself tagged. Also, if you want me to like expand upon any of my answers, you can always ask me down in the comment section, although I can't imagine that ever being the case. So yeah, that's all I have for now, and thanks for watching.